Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about the color green and why green in soft plastics and jigs will actually always be a bass catcher. Uh, back in my day in the early 80s there was a saying from a lot of the bass fishermen that bass love them green crawdads. Well there's a reason they were saying bass love those green crawdads. Um, it has to do with sort of something else that I'll get into a little bit later, but I, I have these two pictures here of a younger crawdad and, in fact, an old big-time big daddy. And if you notice the young one, if you look at it, it has uh, some greens in it. Its shell's kind of green. It has some other colors in it. And if you look at that big old-time crawdad, it's pretty much black and dark red. Well. The reason they want to target a smaller, younger crawdad is because they grow really quick. They have an exoskeleton, they have to shed it. Uh, the shell doesn't get as thick because they're growing very quickly uh, compared to the older ones that have already pretty much reached their maturity and they might only uh, shed their exoskeleton once a year or something. But the smaller one, smaller shell, uh, easier to break down, easier to crack up, easier to get to that delectable, soft protein meat in the middle. Uh, kind of like when we eat crabs or lobsters, we have to break the shell to get to the meat. Uh, they can't process that shell. It gets passed through them and pooped out. I mean, I, in, in my lifetime, I don't know how many thousands of bass I've caught with either a claw or a leg of a crawdad sticking out of their butt because they can't process it. But when you get to the green, sure, the, the, the younger ones have a green. But when they shed, and come out of the shell, and for a while they're very vulnerable. Uh, they're an exoskeleton, they have no exoskeleton, they're just this gelatinous ball of gooey protein and fat that a bass can just absorb everything. But when they get to that state, they're just this brownish, greenish color. Almost look like motor oil, which is why I'm sure the first plastics in the 80s that were a huge hit were motor oil. Uh, and nowadays you get uh, green pumpkin and watermelon, because it'll always be a trigger. When they see something that's green and brown and, and kind of moving a little bit, they know that it's helpless and they can eat it and they can absorb all that. Their body doesn't have to spend the time cracking it up and breaking it and getting to the soft parts in the middle. The whole thing is soft. So that's why green will always be a trigger. Uh, most lakes have crawdads in them, uh, even if it doesn't or if it's not a major forage. If something like that that's green, some sort of plastic or something that's, that's got this green to it, if you get it in front of them, they're pretty much going to eat it. To them, it triggers a great protein, easy, digestible, good meal. So green always will be something in soft plastics that will catch you. A lot of bass. I hope this helps. Until next time.